Magnets have been around for a long time, and their properties have been known for a long time. For example, the ancient Greeks knew that magnets could be found in nature. They called these magnets lodestones. They saw that these magnets could pull iron things towards them and line themselves up north to south. It is thought that the Chinese were the first people to study magnets in a systematic way. They made the first compasses, which used lodestones to show the way and were used for navigation and geomancy, which is a form of divination based on the Earth's magnetic field. Peter Peregrinus, an English scientist and philosopher, wrote a book about magnetism in the 1200s. In it, he talked about how magnets work and how they are used in compasses. This book was later translated into Latin, and it was a big part of how people in Europe learned about magnets. Scientists and inventors have kept studying and experimenting with magnets for hundreds of years, so we now know a lot more about how they work and what they can be used for. Magnets are very important in a wide range of fields today. Magnets are used in technology to make things like electric motors, generators, MRI machines, credit card stripes, and loudspeakers. The magnetic properties of materials are used to make energy, store it, send it, sense it, store data, and talk to each other. Magnets help scientists understand things like matter, energy, and the universe. Magnets are used in particle accelerators and MRI machines to study matter and the universe. Magnets are used to teach about magnetism and electromagnetic fields in schools. They can show how magnets work, what magnetic fields and electrical currents look like, and what electromagnetism is. If you want to find out the answers to the questions you've always had, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon.